hello guys welcome back to my channel um let's continue with this uh, birthday readings for the airy season the airy season is here so to celebrate it we are going to have this uh weekly tarot reading for the idols that are born under the sun of aries so today is the turn of red velvet irene so let's talk a bit about her energy um she's an Aries of course with uh, a moon in Virgo so definitely a lot of um, a lot of fire a lot of charisma a lot of like a strong a strong headed you know very very passionate about what she wants but also very critical you know this is this is something that I think the first time I read for Irene that I believe it was like a personality and um yes a personality reading um in general as well so um i think that i read for her where she was in this period of hiatus i believe uh for for what the accusations and everything that happened you know and i somehow like i think that um, I focused on what she was going through at that moment, but at the same time I took my time to talk a bit about Aries people and especially Moon in Virgo people and Moon in Virgo idols because we do have a lot of them in the industry and I know that probably uh, if you're not familiar with astrology you may not know which of these idols are, but I think that um for the people that actually do know about their charts and 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 their idols placements and stuff um i think that it's very interesting to see that somehow being a moon in virgo in the industry in the k-pop industry sometimes what it does is that first of all you are very good at uh, memorizing things you're probably very smart very witty you always come up with new ideas you're always working you are a sort of workaholic and you tend to not to rationalize your emotions you know instead of like you're like the kind of person that is like okay yes I do have a problem today or I, I'm going through something but at the same time I want to focus on what I can do about it and what I can do with my with my work related things you know so they tend to be a bit cold and detached about what you know the seriousness sometimes of what they are going through emotionally you know everything they cope with that in a very practical way um so sometimes for moon in virgo to actually be misunderstood or being um taken as someone that is cold and that is uh, selfish or that doesn't considerate others is because they do they are very critical with themselves and at the same time they they tend to have certain ways of expression especially opinions where they don't have see they have zero tolerance for um probably messiness or people that are not good at their job uh, and of course with the, saying this is is not that I'm justifying it's just that I'm I'm talking about the Virgo energy you know Virgo is very critical so if you never had an encounter with the Virgo before that had somehow given you a sort of feedback about the things that you can improve about yourself that you probably that was an opinion that you didn't ask for but they gave it to you anyway so you know if you are used to that energy you know what I'm talking about having a moon in Virgo is sometimes being very misunderstood and a lot of people don't like you and and to be honest sometimes being an Aries sometimes it's difficult especially being a female Aries you know because for example the male Aries uh, person um, because since it's Aries it's ruled by Mars and it's very masculine very often they get they get praised for being assertive for being aggressive for being goal achievers you know for being uh sometimes a bit relentless about what they want to achieve and about being honestly being 
uh, honest and blunt. You know, sometimes they are like, oh, he's so cool because he's so straightforward, you know. And when it comes to females, sometimes for a female, a, an Aries female, it's very, it's very hard to actually be um, being taken as a, a leader, but also that you do have this energy uh, that it goes beyond the looks, that it's more like a very, like when you walk in a room, everyone knows that you, that you are present in the room, you know, especially because you are very assertive about every move that you do. And probably if you're not interested in something or if you're bored or something like that, you're going to show it. You know, you're going to to be someone that is always in a rush. As you know, Aries, it's always nervous. Like it's always like constantly thinking about what to do with action. You know, so probably they are not very patient. You know, so I think that um, I, my dad, it's an, it's an Aries, so I have lived with that energy all my life. You know, especially I know I cannot. I cannot go with him grocery shopping or I know I cannot go if I want to spend a few moments and, 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 and you know, uh, try to have a peaceful evening where I can select very mindfully uh, what I want to buy because he doesn't have the patience, because he starts arguing with people, you know. So sometimes Aries, <clears throat> not all of them. But there's this sense of rush, you know, even the ones that don't show it, they are always like thinking like, oh, I, I want to get out of here. I want to do something else, you know, because their energy never stops. So I think that this is very interesting when we think about Irene and not because of that incident that happened. Um, I'm thinking that, you know, to be an Aries <clears throat> female. And I think that this is the reason why, yes, you do have Aries idols. Uh, but probably you do not have that many Aries idols because actually for Aries Sun is very hard to yes they are <clears throat> great leaders but they is really hard for them to fake it you know to fake or to conceal their expressions their mannerisms you know they are they are wild <laughs> you know Aries is all about you know identity you know, what you show to others. So for them to try to, you know, like somehow decorate or try not, try to be less of themselves to, for someone to like you, for them that's like mission impossible. So I think that the idols that we do have, probably they are here because they really want to be successful. But I think that probably they must have their moments where they feel out of place in this industry because um, you know everything that is actually um, related to uh, appearance and, and beauty and harmony <clears throat> and being pleasant actually has a lot to do with Libra with Venus you know Libra Taurus energy <clears throat> so uh, that's why a lot of uh, a lot of idols are Libras or I are Taurus or they have moon in Libra, they have moon in Taurus, you know, because they they need to be able to seduce, you know, and sometimes to to be pleasant in situations where, you know, sometimes for an Aries person, it's hard to be like, oh yes, I have to wait for someone to give me a permission to live my life or to do what I want to do, you know, and, and they don't hold back on things that they want to say or do, you know, it's very hard for them. Um, so <clears throat> let's move on to her reading. I'm sorry that I'm ranting so much. It's just that I think it's important since we are talking about Aries here to connect with uh, what it's like to be an Aries and, and how I think that it must be difficult to be um, to be an Aries person in, in, in the K-pop industry. Honestly, I think that they must repress themselves a lot. Or they must be really responsible and have a lot of earth placements in their beer chart. So somehow the earth element keeps them grounded and keeps them like focused. Like, okay, like I am not enjoying this, but it's paying my bills or somehow it's giving me some kind of stability. So I need to concentrate, you know, but every, <clears throat> every once in a while you will have probably, 
<coughs> and, and this is the same with a moon in Aries idol. You will have them say a few things that a lot of people are going to criticize because they don't, they don't sugarcoat things. That's, that's the thing, you know. <clears throat> so, uh, yes, they don't sugarcoat it, neither on camera nor on, on, on public, uh, in, on public places. So I think that the, the king of pentacles, the strengths, the seven of pentacles, the world card and the moon card. See, the world card is still here, guys. I think the world card is very meaningful <clears throat> for all of us. <clears throat> like I mentioned, <coughs> I'm sorry. Like I mentioned in in my last in my other reading of Jackson, I've been reading for a lot of people. I do shuffle my cards really well, and somehow the world card keeps coming. And as an advice or card of the day as well, I'm seeing the world card everywhere. So probably the world card is is like. A sign that we are moving on to another era to another state that we are finally closing a chapter so this is very important and in and in Irene's um, case is the same so I think that this king of pentacles definitely represents her <coughs> represents her energy um, because I do see her like a king you know, in a sense that I think that she has a great balance with her masculine side and feminine side as well. She knows he, she knows how to uh, combine those, especially when it has to do with work. You know, there's something about her also slowly gaining more confidence and slowly like seeing the results of her hard work, especially the work that she had been doing for the past six months. Um, and I think that probably it has to do <coughs> with um, with the material realm because we have a lot of um, a lot of pentacles here. But at the same time, I think that it has to do with also uh, forgiving herself and at the same time of working on her. You know, because we do have the strengths card, you know, and I always say, look at the strengths card. The strengths card, you see like this, this maid, this lady holding very gently the, the lion's open mouth. So she's like, she's not taming him. She's like caressing him and like convincing him to not roar or to not attack, you know, to not be fierce, you know, like you do not need to be fierce. Like you know, hold your energies, keep your energies. You don't need to shout, you don't need to scream, you don't need to go off, you know, keep calm. Good days will come, better days will come. And I think that probably for her emotionally, there had been a lot of intense instances where she wanted to, to shout, where she wanted to scream out of frustration, you know, out of sadness, out of a lot of things that in in that moment, in that period of her life, found her at a very vulnerable state. You know, I think that uh, if Irene, if this is something that is very Aries-like. If an Aries gets upset and it starts like shouting at people, they probably are dealing with something that probably doesn't have to do with the person they are yelling at. It has to do with other things that they are they are feeling like it's getting out of control about their lives and about themselves so it's like the manifestation of a lot of frustration so uh, of course that <clears throat> like i always mention is not to justify um any kind of uh, bad behavior or you know the the you know the the, the by the being violent or being being rude or being uh you know i think that we we all must like be like the strength card you know like okay yes we do have our moments where we are like okay I, I, I'm so upset about this but we should like remain you know like keep keep ourselves being like okay yes um um I'm, I'm not um like you know like it's not a good time it's not a good moment, you know, like I think that we definitely should 
like work on that and you know because sometimes I always think about this when you want to like explode somehow and say what you think and express yourself somehow everyone gets like um, n n no one is ready to receive a reaction like that you know so probably a lot of people get offended get hurt so at the end of the day is it, it's not about what caused you to be like that it's more like oh look what she did or look what she said so somehow you are exposing yourself you know this is why the maid in the strength card is somehow advising the lion to not attack to do not react because you are going to expose yourself you are going to be the bad lion you know you're going to be the bad animal that attack people so don't show your teeth you know like hold on take a moment you know and i think that this is something that i think that probably uh because there's a lot of advances and growth here so probably she started a sort of like counseling process or she started like having like you know like working on herself to achieve a certain level of peace and being more grounded and not so her energy being not so all over the place you know because she started as the king of pentacles so definitely she is in her throne again she is in her uh, in her power she is ruling her life you know she's slowly getting comfortable with the idea of okay i'm proud of who i am like i i uh i i know what my value is i know i'm a key i'm a queen so i'm proud of myself but she's here with the strength card in the seven of pentacles it's like i had to do a lot of inner work and i had to work a lot of myself in order to get to where i am right now that the the, the where she's going is to be able to close this cycle and i think that it has to do with her forgiving herself and also uh, uh, forgiving whoever was hurt by her actions and also forgiving herself because I think there's a lot of uh, shame you know like she she felt uh, like a lot of guilt you know but, but a lot of, she felt ashamed you know like oh I shouldn't have done this you know and probably she went through a lot of processes of acceptance you know probably at first she was angry at everyone and herself then she was like oh, okay it is what it is you know uh, you know trying to cope with it and then she got upset again and then she got ashamed where she didn't want to to talk about what happened so she would hide you know and then now she's slowly <clears throat> like properly healing you know she's like okay I went through all the cycles I went through denial I went through uh, reacting and being on the defensive and also talking why I think that this wasn't fair to this this level where she's like okay I, I accept that uh, this was my fault somehow or, or this was something that was happening to me that there was something in her life that she needed to fix so I don't know if it was about cutting connections with people that actually make her feel really anxious and angry inside or actually I think that it was about putting like healthy boundaries to people that were always like demanding things out of her you know like oh you you have to help me with this help me with that you know and she's a moon in Virgo so she's very of service you know she's like okay what can I do for you okay I will try to fix it so and i think that these people probably were very close to her like relatives family you know people like i don't know maybe about money also you know like oh you have to help me with this you know and also you know not being able to ask her properly you know probably being on this sort of uh defense mode of like oh you have to help me you know and i think that she was really angry about that you know she was really angry to always be the one that that has to provide you know i think that i don't know irene's background but i think that she had always been the working type you know she had always been working she had always been busy she had always been responsible and and like 
you know, she is at a, a period in her life where she is like observing, okay, how much how much did I did I do? How, how how much of the things that I accomplished in my life has to do with what I wanted to accomplish and not what others expected of me? You know, so I think that she she definitely is standing in her power. She's like, okay, like I'm not going to give you my coins for free. I'm not going to generously give you my pentacles for free or my work for free. I'm not going to to hand it to you that easy. I'm going to put boundaries. So if you want a money out of me, you will have to work for it. You know, and, and I think that uh, it, it has probably has to do with family, you know, like someone asking her money. So she she's like fed up she was like fed up you know like people calling her and asking her things you know for things for solutions for like oh you have to help me with this you know and and for a moon in virgo the word help me is like they cannot resist to go to help that person you know because they are of service so if you are, go to a moon in Virgo and you ask them to help you or to assist you in some way, they are going to give you, they are going to help you somehow, even if they are miles far away from you, because they are all about l looking for solutions, you know, and building a sort of like a uh, system that where you can actually achieve what you want to achieve. So I think that she's also like, this year she's also going to connect a lot with her inner fears you know i think that she's she's slowly like letting go of nostalgia but i think that there's a lot of uh a lot of wounds about her probably her childhood and a lot of things that she went through that made her somehow this ice queen that everyone sees today you know she went through a lot I think that she was manipulated at a very young age, you know, so now she's like, finally she's seen herself as this king of pentacles, but she's like, okay, the work is not done yet. I still need to work on myself, you know, because the seven of pentacles is like, yes, you know, you are, you are like, the fruit of your labor is is growing you know the the roots are giving its fruits but you cannot collect them yet you need to keep like working on the soil you know you need to keep taking care of it you know it's a whole process and i think that definitely she finished one already but she's about to enter a new one and it has to do with she has a lot of i don't know if she has a kind of trauma actually from her past because the moon is about you know fears unconscious fears a lot of things that we kept in our unconscious as a way of mechanism of defense so we don't because we don't have time to sometimes to stop and mourn about certain not so happy things we go through you know so probably if she went through a negative experience she somehow like toss it you know and threw it in the back of her mind in her unconscious in order to be able to move on and to be able to keep working and keep being a functional human being you know but i think that the moon here is like okay there are a lot of things hidden inside of you that slowly will come out on surface but i think that it has to do with her not being afraid of her own vulnerability you know that it's okay to feel sometimes a bit out of control because i think that she she has a lot of needs a lot of she feels really lonely you should know she feels really misunderstood and i think that probably her her attitude towards this is like fine i'm going to fix this on my own or i'm going to uh i'm going to overcome this on my own and like I don't I'm not going to ask anyone for help because I can do it myself you know and I think that this is very important as well moon in Virgo people they tend to forget that they just like they give help to others they need to help themselves or they need to ask for help 
for themselves. You know, recognize your own needs, not choose what the others want of you. You know, like, do not forget about you. And I think that this is going to be very... And it also has to do with the mother figure. You know, there's something here that she needs a lot of healing, a, a, a lot to do, you know. Um, but when it comes to work, I think that she will have um, a, a few a few moments of realization and achievements in her work. But it's going to be like... Yes, it's going to do great, but it's, it's like, I don't know why, but I feel like if we think about uh, Irene being a part of Red Velvet, uh, I think that the girls, uh, you know, this is why they have this, this song, I remember this song called Kingdom. No, Queendom, not Kingdom, Queendom. And, and you know, and she started with the King of Pentacles, you know, with the crown in his head. So definitely there's royalty here. And I think that they they could potentially be participating in in projects but i think that she's taking a few of a time off you know like working a lot on herself i think that you're going to see a great change in irene's um body language and in irene's expression she's going to be more loose she's going to be happier she's going to like slowly show herself her true self as she had been before. Uh, you're going to see her like like shining a bit more, you know, a bit more like, uh, not so much on the defensive, you know, a bit more like not exhausted, not, you're going to see her like um, very stable and, and you're going to see her how, how this, this healing that she's doing, how this making a huge impact in her well-being as a person you know not just as an idol as a person you know her body language will relax a bit more and she will be she will be looking like happier you know like glowing a bit more than uh, what she what actually what what you saw of her probably less year or two years ago so yes slowly like back on her throne like the queen she is so thank you so much guys for being here and i'll see you in the next video bye